That first step onto the deck is a sort of liberation. You feel that this is how you were meant to live. Keyed up, deliciously alert. The gates of the lock are raised, and the way to Australia and the world is open. Not just for the ship, but for you. You've really settled in now, and you enjoy showing your friends the things you bought so cheaply in Gibraltar. Taking a look at a ship's compass, a Bob and Heather Trainer, who got married in London the day before the Himalaya sailed. They're off to a new life in Australia. Depending on yourself, making friends aboard ship can be a simple matter. In fact, of course, people on ships are extremely sociable. And if anybody goes to bed early, well, they're sure to miss a lot of fun. Inside the ship, air conditioning is more than a match for the desert heat. And there are other aids to comfort. You're in the holiday spirit most of the time aboard ship, and Mad Hatter's night steps up the pace. kind of food you get on board? Now that's certainly a major question. I can't go right through the lengthy menu with you, but all this should make it clear that you don't need to bring any picnic baskets. A night at the races, but it's frogs instead of horses, and the secret is to coax them along. The aquatic sports give the girls a chance to be openly aggressive. Handfuls of grease, lavishly applied, and your end is slippery and sudden. of secret sewing activity culminate in the fancy dress parades.
scrub decks, the teenagers rock themselves to sleep. Well, it was quite a night. But a girl's got to be at her best for landing in Australia, which is pretty close now. <laughs>